Good morning. Today we're going to be learning how to make a Job Stoddard accessory bag. We can use this to keep our slip, headband, socks, and shoes with our robe. Let's get started. First we're going to need two pieces of fabric for the outside and we're going to need two pieces of fabric for the lining. We're going to start with the lining piece, so I'll move the outside out of the way for a minute. On the lining piece, we're going to put this together, right sides together. And we're going to be doing some stitching. When I put this together, I'm going to need some pins to just keep everything in place. Now we're going to want to leave an opening of about four inches at the bottom because we're going to use that to turn the bag in a few minutes. I'm going to take Taylor's chalk and put my and my ruler and put in my four inch opening. That just goes in the middle along the bottom. Now we're ready to take this to the sewing machine. We're going to be sewing all the way down the right hand side, making a turn at the bottom. Now when we get closer to the bottom, we're slowing down to make sure that we have our sewing machine in place to make a nice little turn. And we're going to stop where we made our mark here. Usually I back stitch a couple of stitches, take that off of the machine, cut our threads. And we're going to do the same thing for the other seam, but I'm going to actually start down here. Forward stitch a few stitches, and then back stitch a few. Go to our corner. Watch sometimes. I do a couple stitches just by hand to keep everything lined up nicely. Now we're just going to go straight up to the top. Taking care to keep everything lined up with my one quarter inch. Remember to move pins so they don't break your needle of your sewing machine. Now, trim our threads. Set the lining aside. Grab the outside. And we're going to do the same thing, except this time we don't need to leave any opening. This is the outside part and this is the lining. The outside part is sewn all the way on the sides and along the bottom. The lining is sewn on the sides with a four inch opening on the bottom. We take the outside part now and turn it so we can see how beautiful it looks. If you have any type of pointing tool, you can put that into your corners to make them look really nice. After you do that, you're going to take the outside part to your iron and you're going to press your seams. When you're doing that, make sure that everything is lined up nicely 
so your seams look pressed well. After you have done this part, you're going to take your lining, which is still right sides together, you're going to open it. You're going to take your bag, your outer part, and you're going to take the bottom and you're just going to stuff it inside the lining. Now, when you stuff it inside the lining, you're going to just work to lay everything flat and line up your two side seams. First I come over here and I line up this particular side seam. Now when I do that I press one of the seams to the left and one of the seams to the right and I put in a pin. That is important for when we are sewing because the bag will lie flatter that way. I go over to my other side seam and I do the same thing. I press one seam to the left and one seam to the right. Put a pin. Now I just work with the in-between part. pin and a pin on the other side to make sure everything's lined up. See this is a little off here so I want to fix that. Make sure everything's lined up nicely. And I'm going to sew all the way around the bag. Now this is important that we take the part of our sewing machine off here because we want to be able to line up our bag right around here. If we don't, we're going to sew the top and the bottom together and that would not be good. So again, we're going to do a quarter inch seam. Now we have sewn all the way around our bag, a one quarter inch seam. Now comes a really fun part. We're going to take where our hole is here. We're going to pull the bag through. Just like that. Now we had, we're going to take time to fix our corners of our lining. Sometimes corners can be fixed with our hands, sometimes we just use a tool, whatever you prefer. We have our top, outside, we have our outside part, and we have our lining. Now we're going to press our lining. Again, making sure our seams are all lined up. Now comes the time where we need to close the opening. So to close the opening, what we do is we fold under one quarter inch on each side to match our seam that we already made. Then it lines up with everything else. I find it easier if I just give that a quick press. And I'm going to run a stitch all the way along the bottom. Just a very small stitch, maybe one eighth of an inch. Now that our lining is closed, we are going to pull the bag apart like this, and we're going to put the lining inside the bag. Put the lining inside the bag. Just use our hands to sort of guide everything into place. 
making sure everything lies nice and flat on the inside. And now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to work with your hands to get the top and the lining in place so we can press them. Take it to our iron and repress. The next part we need to do is we need to make a casing. So how we're going to do that is we're going to turn the bag inside out. We're going to use Taylor's chalk to make a one inch mark down from the top. If you do not have Taylor's chalk, you can use any type of chalk. We're going to use our ruler one inch We're going to flip this around, do the same thing on the other side, one inch. And now we're going to take this back to our sewing machine and what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around of this one inch line. All the way around our bag of this one inch line. After we have sewn at our one inch line, this is how everything is going to look. We are going to turn the project back right side out. Now we're going to need to use our seam ripper. Normally in sewing we don't like seam rippers, but in this case it's a good thing. First, let me fix this thread right here that's not quite clipped off. Now, you're going to go right in your side seam here. And you're gonna take out a few stitches, probably four or five, so you have room to put your ribbon in. So it's gonna be right in here. Taking care, make sure do not go all the way to the top and do not go down past this. Just a little bit of space will be fine. The ribbon is not that wide. Now you're going to take your ribbon, which I found 25 inches works pretty good. You're going to put a pin in at the end don't put, put it in the middle like this. Don't put it too close to the end, otherwise it might fall out. Then you're going to push the ribbon through the project. If I didn't quite open enough space, which looks like that's what happened here, then I'm just gonna open a little bit more space. You're going to push the pin all the way through. And you're just gonna keep pushing, the ribbon will just automatically follow. You're going to keep pushing here. Now that we have almost threaded our ribbon entirely around the bag, we will see we are coming to the opening. We just work carefully to take the pin out. Now, as we are doing that, we are going to look at our ribbon situation. So we have this really short ribbon here and we have this long ribbon here. We want to have those two ends meet. So we're just going to keep pulling the ribbon through until, and adjusting it until basically those two ends meet. Now we're done with the pin. So that goes off and away. We're going to tie a knot. We have our knot, but we want to hide that in the channel. So what we do is we pull the ribbon and we push the ribbon until we can hide the knot inside here. Sometimes the knot is very stubborn and we need to, and it doesn't want to go through the opening here. So we need to maybe just open one more stitch and use a pin 
like this and we just push the knot inside. Now we are done with our Jeb Stoddard drawstring bag.